you may be wondering, what's with all the sticks here? Let me share an interesting story with you. There was a father who had three sons. And these sons were always fighting and quarreling with each other often. They were very self-centered and egoistic and rarely worked together. It reached a point where the fighting became really intense. And that's when the father had to step in. He asked all of his sons to go and collect sticks like this and come back to him. And when the sons came back, he asked them to break the stick one by one, which the sons were able to do it very easily. And then what the father did was he bundled all the sticks together like this. And then he gave his sons to break it. And the sons applied all their strength, their might, their energy, but they were not able to break it. And they were getting really annoyed. And that's when the father smiled. And he said, it's very easy for you to crumble and break when you work by yourself. On the contrary, when you work together as a team, you develop so much more strength and you develop so much more resilience. And you would be able to achieve bigger goals in life. Here's the lesson. We is so much more powerful than I. As the famous Helen Keller mentioned, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much more. Collaborating, working with people did not come natural to me. It's something which I had to learn and get better. Especially when I was conditioned that you need to hustle 14 to 15 hours a day and it's not okay to ask for help. The biggest shift happened to me when I was speaking with my mentor and then I asked him for an advice. He paused for a second and then he said, I'm happy to tell you, but you won't like it. I said, please go ahead, let me know. And this is exactly what he said. You are doing everything by yourself you won't be able to sustain it. You need to start collaborating. You need to start building a team and working together with people. That's when you'll be able to grow. That's when you will be able to scale. Wow, I was blown away by this. And it was one of the most uneasy things for me to listen to. The reason being, up until then, my entire identity involved around me doing everything. I executing everything. I used to think I am a one-man army. I can do everything. I wonder how many people still think in that way. I knew that I had to grow and I had to change to get better. I had to come up with a new identity. And the new identity was we. As they say, Sometimes your worst mess can become your best message. Here I am to share with you a few lessons which I have learned about collaboration. Number one, family. Family is one of the most important team that you will ever get to work with. When was the last time that you worked on a family goal together with your spouse and your children? When was the last time that you asked your spouse what a perfect day would look like for them and went ahead and facilitated that day and created a premium experience for them? Let's be honest. Do we do that? Do we do that enough? I know I don't. I need to do it often. When we collaborate with family, the bonds between our family members grow so much more stronger. The connections are everlasting. And the best of it all, we have so much fun doing it together. Imagine the joy, the happiness, and the satisfaction every member in your family feels when they know that they have contributed, no matter how little it might be. It's heartwarming to see the transformations of the family members 
when we know that we have used their strengths towards a common family goal. This is one of the biggest areas personally which has had the biggest effect on me. It has brought so much of peace. Communication is a key skill when we work together with family. Which leads me to the second point, the power of asking. During my childhood days, when I was a kid, I rarely used to ask for anything. I did not ask for toys. I did not ask for chocolates. I was told that I'm a good boy because I don't ask. I wanted to fit in. I wanted people to accept me. I wanted to make other people happy. That's why I didn't ask. There was a lot of uneasiness, hesitation around asking for me. But when I grew up, when I started working with a team of people, I could see that there was this tension, there was this discomfort. I wanted to ask, but I couldn't. I wanted to express myself, but I couldn't. I had developed this limiting belief and fear, if I ask, I'm going to be a bad person. Well, let me smash that myth right here, right now. You can do more, you can be more, and you can have more when you ask. Ask for suggestion, ask for advice, ask for help. You wouldn't know until you ask. More often than not, people are willing to help you. And do you know why? Because it makes them feel good. It makes them feel better. More importantly, it empowers them. It's a win-win situation for everyone. Asking can totally transform your life if you apply it. Which leads me to the last point on how to use collaboration to manage your time well and increase your productivity. A 2020 Gallup study of over 7,500 people found that 23% of the people feel burnt out often, and 75% of the people feel burnt out sometimes. Isn't that a staggering number? Do you know the biggest reason? Doing everything by ourselves. Raise your hand if you're that person who always says, wish I had more time in a day, wish I had eight days in a week. That was me. I used to believe my potential to achieve would only depend on what I could execute. I was getting increasingly frustrated that I'm not able to achieve things. I'm not able to get things done. I felt that I might burn out very soon. And you know what I did? I started downloading different productivity apps. I went through different time management courses. Did they work? Not to a big extent. Do you know what worked? Do you want to know the biggest productivity tip? It's people. You don't need more time as you claim. You need people. I dare you to delegate more. I dare you to collaborate and work together with people. And when you do, you will be surprised by the amount of work you can get done in a short amount of time. We humans are social creatures. We were designed to work together in a community. Personally, when I started collaborating, I was able to experience so much joy, happiness, and fun, not only for me, but for the team as well. There is some magic that happens when you work with people. It's very, very fulfilling. Bigger the dream, more important the team. Let me finish with this question. Think about the biggest dream or goal you have right now. You got it? Now, instead of thinking, how can I get it done? What do I need to achieve this? Think about the person or the group of people who can help you achieve this goal faster. Go ahead and find them.